set and correct for everybody out there because we got a special message this time. Hey, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, if you can hear me out there, please go into the chat room. Make yourself known. Go ahead and uh, put where you're coming from so we can get live. We want to make sure everybody can hear what's going on. Uh-huh. Look at that. All right. Uh, I'm just waiting for some technology to get caught up over here so I can see myself and let's get going uh, because we're going to talk about something really important, really important. Uh, we talk about the ECS system all the time. The number one thing being energy. And for a lot of people, they're not getting that level of energy that they need in their lives. So things aren't working out well. Um, so that's what we're going to address. We're going to address that immediately because it's very important. I'm glad to see everybody on the line right here. If you can, once again, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Pat, smash that like button. Hey, what's going on? Good to see everybody that's hopping on right now. I'm glad everybody. Hey, look, I, I do want to um, issue a slight apology. It, it's life. It's life. Uh, we do have uh, me as a human. I needed to get some coaching. <laughs> so we've been off for two weeks. Uh, it was initially just getting coaching. And then, of course, it was uh, Thanksgiving. So I'm glad to be back on. I'm glad to see everybody here. Uh, Damon, what's going on with you? Good to see you again. Ty Woods. Ty, Ty Bud Woods. There we go. <laughs> Good to see everybody here. We have something very important to talk about. Um, you know, we're going to end out this year strong. We're going to end uh, 2020. Woo! It, it's been a lot. So uh, we need to give, make sure everybody has the energy that they need to, to live, do things more positively going into 2021. is very important. What's going on to Sanaya? I want to make sure I'm saying it right there. Speedy. <laughs> cool. So what's going on with you, sir? Glad to see everybody back. This is wonderful. I have missed all of you. Uh, of course, I want to say, give my shout outs to uh, my staff, my people who are working with me. This is always important, uh, the work that they do to make sure I can do uh, my work. So I want to thank them. We are going to get into it really quickly. Uh, hey, what's going on, Jay Blizzy? Our space. <laughs> Be money. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Jarius, what's going on with you, sir? John, John. Hey, I'm glad everyone is here. What's going on, Alan? Um, so, yeah, let's get into this, because, as you know, uh, we had the video put out earlier today at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays. That's when we get into it. And of course, it is now 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what we talk about, what we just talked about. Make sure we're going to get that information. We dive deep in. Of course, please put your questions in. We're going to I'm going to ask something slightly different this time. And what that is is for you to go into the comment section. If you have a question, uh, put your age in um, and you know any extra information that you can that's relevant to the question that you have. I'm gonna get those questions, but I wanna make sure I, I can be more direct with you. I can give you as much information as possible because it helps not only you, but everybody else who's on this channel. So I love it. What's going on, Otis? Hello to you, sir. All right. so. Today, we're talking about how I became plant-based, <laughs> and, and it's sort of important because it takes a, it, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. We've been born into a situation that meat is just readily available in every restaurant. It's hard to get away from it. We have so many traditions, so many thought processes that end up holding us back. So we're going to get into what you can do. So uh, if you want to change the way to if you want to change uh, the way that you need to improve your sexual health, your health overall in general, that's what we're going to talk about. Because, you know, when we're talking about whole plant based diets, it goes against the grain of everything that we've been taught. So what are the tricks and tips that you need to move away from it? Um, and just like I've always said before, just to be transparent, I used to eat 200 animals a month. That's not a good thing. <laughs> at all i suffered the consequences for it i want to make sure as many guys as possible don't need to worry about anything like that and as a bonus i'm going to talk about the food matrix things that you just need to know to understand what side that you need because it's the matrix <laughs> red blue pill 
You live and learn. You live and you learn. So um, let's be straight. Let's be honest. This shit ain't working. <laughs> Nothing about what we're doing is working. When I say this shit ain't working, I'm being serious. I'm being wholly serious. Our children aren't going to make it to where we are at your age. Think about this. Your child may not make it. I don't know what age you are, but your child may not make it because, you know, think about it. For me, you know, I'm, I'm 49. So when I was born, McDonald's was a luxury. You didn't go there every day. It wasn't open 24 hours. It was, I worked at McDonald's. I understand the background of McDonald's. So it's a lot of things that have changed. So everything is going wrong. We have boys who are going to the doctor's at 11 years old just to make sure their nuts are formed correctly. That's scary. That's truly scary. Uh, we have 18 year olds who have erection issues. We have uh, men in their 30s that I've talked to who have, <laughs> they're infertile. That's scary. And we're talking about hypertension, heart attacks, ED, uh, colon cancer. Uh, shout out to Chadwick Boltman. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's too much that's going on that's wrong. This generation is not going to live as long as you. You have to hold on to that because as a man, we're the protectors. So if you're, it's not just like we have to physically protect, but mentally get into the stage of like, yeah, something's wrong. We have to fix it. So uh, the thing to understand is that 70% of you is what you eat. It's that simple. 70% <laughs> of you is what you eat. 30% is that DNA is going to give you your height. You know, you, you re reach a certain age, your height is set. You have the same number of fingers and thumbs. <laughs> certain things are set, but everything else is about that food. So the disease is coming from the food. It, it, it's what happens you know, you put it into your body. Everything else after that is what happens. So uh, it, it, it makes a big difference. Shout out to Steven. Shout out to Lloyd. Good to see you. Toronto in the house. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Uh, please go into the chat section. Let me know where you're coming from. So I appreciate that. Um, you eat every day. And for too many people, we're eating meat at every meal. That's not normal that has never happened in the history of humans. So we have to look at that. Um, and it's getting worse because the amount of meat that we're eating is not only increasing, but the quality of meat is decreasing. So we have to be careful of that. I mean, you know, I grew up, I never liked watermelon back in the day because it had watermelon seeds. Watermelon is great for you in terms of your erections because it has L-citrulline, which opens up the veins, opens up the blood vessels so you can get more blood flow in there. It's a great thing. I didn't like it because I had seeds. Well, the world accommodated me by taking the seeds out of watermelon. Hold up. That's a problem. That's what we have to address right there. Um, and I do remember, of course, I worked at McDonald's. McDonald's actually closed on Sundays. It, it, <laughs> It takes a while to think back that far. They're open 24-7, but they used to close on Sunday. So it, it's, it's amazing the way the world has changed. So let's go ahead and talk about what a whole, whole plant-based diet is. A whole plant-based diet is just that. There's no meat, uh, there's no processed foods, and it's literally just fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts. That's it. There's over 250,000 varieties around the planet. So you can get that. Um, vegans eat processed plants. So we're talking about, you know, the, the different uh, meat options that come out. You know, I enjoy the, the Burger King Impossible Burger and things like that. You can't tell the difference. It's great. However, there are some issues with it because they had to change the plant radically to mimic meat. That, that's what happened. Uh, vegetarians. They include egg and dairy into their uh, into the diet. Uh, when we're talking, about, I'm not sure why that makes sense to people because with milk, milk actually lowers your testosterone levels, and with eggs, it's uh, it's the the white part of the egg is just fat. It's fat, so the animal, the chicken inside of it, can absorb it, so they can hatch. So there is no. It's like, oh yeah, I'm just eating the egg yolk or the egg white. 
you talking about <laughs> eating an animal. So let me go ahead and break down some of the, the meat myths right quick. I want to make sure that uh, Jay Busy from Indiana uh, gets this. Damon, hey, what's up, what's up again? Uh, and we want to make sure you get this information because it, we've been taught so many different wrong things. All protein comes from plants. Animal, pro animal protein is a horrible substitute. Plants have all the amino acids you need. B12 covers the earth. I mean, it's, it's actually interesting to study B12 because you get B12 out of fish. So how does the fish get B12 if it's a fungus covered in the earth? It's, you have to be careful about the information that you're getting. Go ahead and dive in. Re research the information I'm giving you. you. We all need to study together because it's not going in the right direction. So make sure we get that. Every nutrient you need are in plants. Eating flesh to gain flesh is weird that's like eating hair to get hair no that's not the way this works your body is not designed for that um and this is of course is a big thing humans are not carnivores or omnivores i do not care what they said in wikipedia what your doctor says this literally when i say literally it makes no sense you cannot bite your cat or your dog and eat it in fact carnivores don't have pets. Yeah. <laughs> a lion is just hanging out with a deer, you know, because it's like, mm, hey, mm, 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 that's dinner. Um, so let me just go through really, really quickly my journey. Um, in January of 2018, I had enough. Um, I had so many different issues. We're talking about shoulder issues, knee issues, feet, my neck cracked. It was carpal tunnel at one point, you know, um, uh, I slept too long and my back hurt. I mean, literally, if I went for eight hours of sleep, I would wake up with my back hurting. That, that's not supposed to happen. Um, and on most importantly for me, on the sexual performance scale, I was at a five. You know, zero to ten, ten being the highest, everything's good. Uh, one, you need help. Five, it's not really good. And it's like I sell an aphrodisiac. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention to my body. I was just taking a supplement and saying, oh, this is good enough. It's not. That's not the way this works. Um, and let me just give you an example of what I was doing in terms of eating. What I was eating. It was insane. <laughs> it was insane. So I had uh, on Wednesday, we got 10 wings on, on it was, of course, Taco Tuesdays and Happy Hour Wings on Wednesdays and Supreme Pizza Thursdays. And, you know, it's I'm, I'm quote unquote religious. So we get <laughs> Fridays, we got the fish, fried fish. Um, and then, you know, we get crab cakes on Saturday because I'm in Maryland close to, you know, that's that's what we do in Maryland. And on game days, you got the wings. So that's just dinner. When we talk about I'm adding on breakfast and lunch, I'm eating a whole bunch of meat constantly. That's what we do as uh, Americans, as humans, you know, across this planet right now. We just eat way too much. Um, so I started with intermittent fasting, which basically meant I didn't eat breakfast. I had to change every morning. I used to eat uh, at 8 a.m. As soon as I woke up, I'm eating food. And so now it's like, OK, let me move it to a point where it's like, oh, yeah, I can I can, I can go to one o'clock without thinking about eating. It takes a while to adjust your body. It's just like a baby. You have to you know, adjust their feeding schedule. You have to do the same thing with your body. Uh, a little bit more complicated because you're an adult. So uh, but making that switch made a difference. I also stopped drinking milk. I stopped drinking milk before that. But you know, I went to like any time I wanted that taste of milk. I went to plant based milk. Uh, and it's it's. You're just changing your eating patterns. You already know what you do. <laughs> it's not working for you. You have to change that pattern. So I had to walk away from crazy. It takes a while to figure out like, okay, this isn't working for me. What else do I need to do? So um, I added more fruits and vegetables to my diet. It was just making it easier, making it easier. And I tried uh, that vegan food. Um, and here's a a caution with vegan food. With vegan food, um, not all of it's good for you. And just be honest. You know, these, these foods have been on the planet less time than you've been alive. So you have to check it out. You have to make sure that it works 
for you. Um, and one of the things that I did was keep notes on my phone in terms of like what was working for me, what wasn't working for me. Those things are important to remember because, you know, the great thing about being a human is that you forget. Because otherwise, you just be constantly like, oh, wow, this didn't work. This didn't work. It's just, you know, your brain would just overload. The good thing is that you do have the ability to forget. And so that's good. But on the backside of it, you forgot. So you forgot, like, just like that time you drank that thing and you were throwing up. Oh, I'm never going to drink again. And then you went back out and drinking. Yeah. You do that with food more often. Yeah. So be careful with that. Uh, make sure to write that down. Um, also, you want to look for restaurants that have those options. Um, where I am, there's a, a huge number of restaurants. Roughly five of them are vegan. So you have to be careful of that. You have to pay attention. So uh, and for me, the big thing was paying attention to older people because why? Because I want to get older. I want to get older. I don't want to age. Those to me, those two getting older is the number of times you go around the, the sun. Aging is what you do to your body in terms of having a level of control over it and what you put into it. So if you look at people going into a restaurant, older, especially older people, they go into a buffet, they're walking in. <sighs> they're walking in with problems. They walk out with way more. Problems. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, Lord, that was good. My hip. What's wrong with my hip? Yeah, you just had a food injury. Something's wrong <laughs> with what you just did. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. Uh, so some of the mistakes that people make when they're trying to switch over is equating meat reduction to weight loss. And that's a mistake because what you're actually doing is if you're still eating more stuff, it's like, I'm not going to eat ribs, but I'm going to eat carrot cake. It's, it's no, no, no. You know that doesn't make any sense. So when you're reducing the meat, you're actually getting healthier. That's the thing that we need to pay attention to with, with what we're consuming. You're getting healthier. Some people just think, oh, I'm going to stop eating meat and so I should look like a bodybuilder. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. You know that doesn't make any sense. So be careful with that. Uh, juicing fruits. So when you juice fruits, sometimes you end up with, you know, you, you're avoiding the fiber but you're getting more of the sugar and that leads to extra issues. So it's not about, you want to get the whole fruit inside you. You want to eat the original version. The closer you are to the original version, uh, the better it is for you. Uh, once again, you have to pay attention to that vegan food. Uh, you know, this vegan carrot cake, this vegan, this vegan, a whole bunch of things. All they're doing is trying to switch the wrong foods with the right foods by making the right foods look like the wrong foods. Yeah, it still ends up with being problems. So um, you don't want to go into eating too many vegan desserts. Um, and you also want to avoid those random, <laughs> those random meat feasts. As Americans, I understand this. It's like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, party, drink, eat, uh, uh, Super Bowl, party, eat, drink, uh, Valentine's Day, eat, drink. It we keep doing this over and over again. We keep running into these problems. Um, and you have to be careful about just planning out those meals. So when you're planning out meals, it's like, hey, what am I eating during the rest of the week? If you're not planning it out, throwing in random things that you're not supposed to eat is pretty easy. Uh, and you also want to be very careful about this point. Hanging with people that don't respect your journey. That's very important. Uh, because there are people who are in your lives who like you, they love you, but they don't want to switch. They don't. How do you deal with those people? You, you, you have to separate just a little bit. You know, I understand there's a, there's a process for this, but you don't want to get into what they have as bad habits and just thinking that's you with good habits. So, uh, that's very important. Um, really quick. Let's hit a commercial break right quick. We in here for 20 minutes. I just, guys, uh, if you're in here, please go ahead and hit the like button. The like button helps. <laughs> the like button helps spreading this message to other people out there. Uh, we have young guys. We have older guys that need to get this information. If you have daughters, hit the like button because you want other young men 
to be healthy, to deal with your daughters. All right. It's important. It's, that is very important. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Leonard, shout out to you. LTO, South Africa in the building. Love it. Love it. All right. Young, rich and blessed. Woo. I, I need that in my life. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. So let's hit some triggers, some triggers, the things that happen that would make you, you know, normally you're like, I'm on my path, I'm on my purpose, I'm going to get healthier, I'm trying to be an example for other people, but what just happened? Why did I fall off? Here are some things that happened that will allow you to fall off. Um, some things that happened for me. One, uh, my mother's food. I like my mother, uh, love her, and uh, she cooks really good, cooks too good, <laughs> and she's old school, so she uses meat in there. So uh, uh, she cooks food, and it's like, eh, I just, mm. yeah. But unfortunately, it's not only bad for me, it's bad for her. I'm trying to get her off of that old school. It's, it, it, it's a path. Uh, you have all these different holidays. You've got 4th of July. 4th of July, the first thing I think about is hamburgers, hot dogs, ribs, yeah, um, Thanksgiving, turkey, of course. You know, we have these different holidays and traditions that we have to be aware of and try to plan around. Um, you know, and I, and I say this, I want to keep things in balance for people. So some people are like you have to go hard. You have to only eat just the fruits and vegetables and you're going to be all right. <laughs> what you can do is actually, you know, you want to be balanced. It's like, hey. If you want to have that one hand, but if it's one, that's fine. It's not what you do some of the time. It's what you do all of the time. Keep that in mind. Um, so you want to make sure you, when you go into the restaurants and things, you want to go in not being hungry. Uh, when you're hanging with other people, this is huge. Hanging with people who are very lax with it. These are the people that you used, you were going to the happy hour with. You would look at games with. Is in the Everything was all about meat. You're making this change, and now they're looking at you like, why are you you're not going to eat the chicken, man? I just made the chicken. What you going with? What, what? Yeah, I've heard all of that stuff. Um, and you, you want to make sure you have the right food available in your refrigerator. Things like that. Uh, hey, Alan, I'm going to answer that question. Morning Star veggie burgers. Woo! Good and bad. Good and bad. Uh, so... Yeah, one of my things was, and I've, I've made this change, and I, I, I challenge guys out there to think of this one through in terms of the way that I thought about food. Me, I used to say I'm a stress eater. I run a business. That means I'm stressed <laughs> all the time. Fortunately, I figured out how to level out some of the stress. But if you're thinking in your mind, I'm a stress eater, I'm a carnivore, I'm a meat eater. If those things are, if you're repeating that in your mind, then you're, it's harder to get off of, and to, to a point, it's almost impossible because you're saying it over and over again, you believe it. So I've changed my thought process to say, and it reframed it. It's like, hey, I'm not a stress eater, I'm a fresh fruits and vegetable eater. That's what I'm saying over and over again in my mind. And it walks me to that. My, my, my brain is now saying, oh, you need to go this way. Not that way. You're going this way. So it's important to do that. Uh, and here's a question for my guys. Go ahead and put this in the comment section. What are the triggers? <laughs> I got young Richard Blessed. Tune in from Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. I know in Jamaica there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who like eating different things. So uh, Jamaica in the house. Love it. Uh, so what are the triggers that it, that are for you? What are the things that was like, oh yeah, you know what? I was on my path in terms of eating better and then it was off the rails. Go ahead and put that in the comment section. And last but not least, I'm the uncle on the grill. <laughs> when it comes down to it, family reunion, birthday parties, whatever was going on, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever it was, I was a dude on the grill. So I'm sitting there like, oh, Hold up. I just noticed that after I eat these burgers and stuff, I'm walking out of the out of the party with some issues. What's going on with that? So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into some of the mistakes people make. And this is really important uh, when it comes to eating meat. Um, 
people are often thinking that it's, it's simple. It, it, that you just switch over really quickly. Your body thinks differently. Your body doesn't care what you eat. On your brain, your brain is like, this is better, this is worse. Your body is like, I'm just taking whatever you put in me. If you consistently put bad stuff into your body, your body is like, oh, okay, well, this is what we eat. And we want to keep going that direction. That's the reason why I say one of the ways to get off of this process is to start just eating fresh fruits, vegetables before you eat the meat, before you eat other things. You have to retrain your stomach. We, I've talked about before the microbiome that's in your stomach, trillions of cells, trillions of fungi, everything that takes what you eat and turn it into you, a hugely complex formulation. But in order for that to happen, in order for your body to switch, you have to start the process by like, hey, I'm going to eat fruit, fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and beans. Once you start doing that, your body will adjust. It's that simple. All of this stuff is relatively simple. It's just a matter of getting the right information and and doing it. Um, so for me, the benefits of switching over, this is huge. I want these benefits for you. I'm serious about this because there's huge number of benefits. First of all, for me, my neck used to crack. I would get on the elevator and do like this. And it would be like, pop, pop. And people were like, what the? What's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> That's, that happened. I used to have dandruff all the time. I have no dandruff anymore. I mean, it's almost weird. I grew up having dandruff because I was eating meat. <laughs> and now I don't have any dandruff. Uh, I had used to have knee shoulders, knee issues, shoulder issues, back, feet, pain, all different types of things. Getting out of the bed in the morning was scary because I didn't know what was going to happen every time. Uh, and waking up in the middle of the night, going to the bathroom. If any of you guys are doing this, I want you to understand what's going on. It's called uh, BPH. It's a precursor to uh, enlarged prostate. It's called nocturia. And basically what is happening is because you're eating this meat, you're getting to a point where your body is like, hey, uh, I got to get rid of whatever is going on. I don't understand what's going on. Tr it's trying to get rid of waste in your body. It's going to wake you up in the middle of the night, interrupt your sleep, cause way more problems because you're eating so much meat. So be very careful if that's already happening with you. It's going to get worse if you don't change it. Uh, better sleep. Yeah, better sleep just because you just stop eating less meat. Uh, you get clearer thinking. You get less bloating. Um, and the most important thing for my guys who are having issues with your erections, if you're having issues with your erections, a huge part of that is because of what you're eating. Once again, 70% of your body <laughs> is formulated from what you eat. So you can be five foot 10, 80 pounds or five foot 10, 480 pounds. That's just the food side of it. So the food obviously is going to affect your erections. You have to be careful with that. And the great thing about changing up your diet, getting better is that you're less worried about getting sick. I'm not concerned about getting a heart attack. I know guys who are my age, 49. I know guys who are my age who've already had heart attacks. That hurts. There's nobody who sits here and says, you know what? I want to do that again because it hurts. Your heart just said, fuck you. I, I don't normally curse, but fuck you. <laughs> That's what happens with your body if you don't pay attention to what's going on. So uh, I need for <laughs> all of my guys out there to be careful, to be careful uh, because it, it doesn't get better. Um, and, and there's a couple of other things that I want to sh shout out real quick as far as future benefits of eating better. One, you're saving the planet. Um, the way that we farm animals and things like that, there are different movies out there. Watch What the Health and uh, uh, Game Changers. When we talk about how animals and the way we're trying to get animals to be more plentiful than plants, you do realize that humans, we're like 0.01% of the biomass of the planet. Everything else is plants. So we were designed to eat the plants. Somehow somebody said, you know what? Nah, you don't need these plants. Eat the animals because it costs way more to farm and raise the plants 
I'm sorry, farm and raise the animals than it is to raise the plants. Plants, what did it, what did, what does it take to raise plants? Soil and water. You don't even need to be there. You just plant a watermelon patch and come back later and it's just taking over your lawn, taking over whatever's there. That's the way this works. So you want to get the plants into your life. Um, and also one of the other things that ends up happening is that it doesn't stay the same. When we're talking about anim eating you know, uh, uh, meat and things like that, I don't have that same urge to eat chicken that I used to. It, it mean, if you told me two, three years ago, Brian, you ain't going to eat chicken for months at a time. <laughs> I mean, I would argue with you. There's people out there who are like, yeah, no, no, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way uh, this process works. So it, it gets better. So uh, I want to wrap up real quick. I want to make sure we get to your questions. So, mm hmm one of the things that's important, um, you need to train your mind. Um, you've been taught from birth to eat meat. Your mother told you to eat meat. Holidays told you to eat meat. The school lunch mode told you to eat meat. The restaurants told you to eat meat. Every meal has <laughs> told you to eat meat. Like I said, the barbecue traditions told you to eat meat. Um, it's going to be problems if you keep on doing that. So when I say train your mind, you have to get from that to a different perspective and the way you do that is by repetition we keep doing just like everything over here was repetition when you switch over the repetition is looking at movies just netflix and chill you want to watch game changers what the health forks over knives uh cowspiracy the milk system there are a bunch of movies, there are many more out there that are talking about this because the world is changing. The world is going this way. McDonald's, McDonald's, the place I used to work for. So I served up whole bunches of cancer burgers. Uh, <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> I was selling cancer burgers. But anyway, um, I mean, they gave me my $5.50 an hour. Uh, <laughs> so I did what they said. But... Um, it, it, the world is changing, so you can go ahead and change with that. Um, so let's go ahead and just, in conclusion, because I want to get to your question, um, Ty, Ty Wood, is it on YouTube, Netflix? But we'll get to that. We'll, there, there are different things on YouTube also. Um, so what we've been eating has gotten worse. All proteins come from plants, things that you should know. Uh, you want to walk away from crazy and you want to remember the pain. You remember that pain, it's going to change the way you think. And you have to watch out for triggers. You have to watch out for your friends who are not supportive of you. And you have to train your mind to get that new information. All of that said, woo, love it, love it. Hey, guys, uh, once again, let me go ahead and hit that commercial time right quick, which is, hey, check out the videos. We come out every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And... Like right now, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll go ahead and break down these things, make sure I get your uh, questions in, and we make sure we dive deeper into these questions. So uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let me take a second to refresh myself. Look at these questions. What's going on, Clement Everett Jr.? Intermittent fasting good for diabetics? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest you take a look on YouTube, uh, dial up Jason Fung, uh, Dr. Jason Fung. Um, he talks about um, diabetes and fasting. Uh, he goes through medical fasting, uh, which is basically just making sure, you know, all your, your numbers are correct. But intermittent fasting for diabetes is a great start. One of the issues with diabetes, one of the issues, the reason for diabetes is the consumption of meat. It's not sugar. Sugar is the symptom. The cause is meat. Once the meat gets into your body, it changes the, con the, the configuration of your body. You're consuming death. So that death is going to cause death. Then it's going to kill different cells in your body. It's going to cause different issues. You're going to uh, 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 create plaque on the walls of the uh, the vessels throughout your body and sugar can't go through 
do what it's supposed to do. You end up with sugar inside of your body, inside of your blood vessels. That causes problems. So the cause is meat. So yeah, intermittent fasting is a first step. You want to get rid of the meat. That's what you want to pay attention to. Great question. Love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me make sure I get some of these questions here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Day Buddha. Are resistance bands good for building testosterone? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would say to a point, I want to be very careful because I'm going to um, put out a video talking about exercise and testosterone. Movement helps with testosterone. When you overdo just about anything, it's going to be bad. So what ends up happening is people will overdo things it's like I'm going to run a marathon. That's not good for your testosterone. I'm going to overdo something else. That's not good for your testosterone. The best forms of uh, uh, research has shown has been lifting heavier because basically what you're doing, you're tearing muscle fiber in your body. And as a recuperation, as uh, putting things back in order, your body will dial up more testosterone. So that helps. Uh, but when it comes to bands, that's my preference. I'll talk about that in that video. And the reason for that is because when you're working with bands, you're actually working not only the bigger muscles, but you're also working the smaller muscle, your joints. So when you're lifting heavy weights, you're, you have to engage the large muscles. So if I'm doing a bench press, I got the chest, I got the arm muscles going on, but the stress it's right there in your joints. And that's the reason why, especially, you know, I've talked to guys who work out and they're older guys and they're like, oh man, and they come out of the gym and it's like, oh, I feel swole, but pain. <laughs> it's because you, you, you haven't worked out the, the smaller joints in your, in your body. Uh, let's roll. I hope that answered your question there, sir. Uh, what's your take on boron? Benny B. Uh, actually, I can't answer that. Uh, um, I'm not sure about everything about Bora. I, I try to be as completely transparent as possible. Not a genius. I just study this stuff a lot. Uh, Dr. Berg. Yeah, Dr. Berg is, is good. I don't agree with everything he says, and I'm sure he wouldn't agree with everything I say. It's, it's all about you and your life and, and making sure you get the right information. Uh, the fly one. That's what I... <laughs> you say the fly... African fly one. Uh, the fly one. Uh, are you vegetarian or vegan? Um, neither one. I'm whole plant. Uh, let me say, I'm 80% whole plant, 20% uh, vegan. So if I can't get to the plants that I need, you know, I got in my refrigerator blueberries, blackberries, uh, you know, in my freezer, I got spinach, things like that. If I can't get to that, then yeah, I'm going to eat that impossible burger. <laughs> it's a great thing. But once again, you have to be careful because all the ingredients in there are new. Uh, Steven Ratcliffe, what do you think about fish? That's an animal. <laughs> it's an animal. It, it's moving. And in order for you to eat it, you have to kill it. In order for you to kill it, well, in order for you to consume it, you have to, you know, fry it up, whatever, whatever. Death, 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 death. So you're consuming death. Death is not a, a great thing. Uh, Stephen Purdy, how about carbs? I love you, sir. Uh, how about carbs? So um, the interesting thing about carbs and the way that we frame things is that carbs are not essential. Your body will turn what you need into carbs. So if you're eating whatever plant and it has a bunch of protein, that's what happens. That's the reason why we talk about sugar. If your body is clogged up, it can't release the sugar, that, that's what happens. Your body turns what you eat into glucose and then into you. So uh, you don't have to run around just getting a whole bunch of carbs. I think we, the trick, and be very careful about this, the trick that has happened is that what science has done is we're going to take things and we're going to narrow it down to like this little bitty one thing. And that's the most important thing is protein. Ooh, look at oh, carbs. Ooh, look. Think about this. Your ancestors had no freaking clue <laughs> what a carb was, what a protein was, none of it. But they lived healthier. We're not at the point where our children won't live as long as we will. But they were at the point where their children lived longer. So 
we've studied stuff that is like, oh no, and, and this is in the interest of money. Oh no, we're going to get to this narrow part. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about carbs like that. Let's eat the fruits and vegetables. You're going to be good. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. I want to make sure I get on both sides here. Uh, young, rich, and blessed. My, sometimes my semen is watery. Um, this is actually a concern um, for my guys who are out there. Your, when you ejaculate, it should be coming out at 23 miles per hour. So, yeah, all types of fun. <laughs> uh, but if it's coming out uh, slow, watery, there's some issues that are there. You need to pay attention to your diet uh, and also pay attention to how often you're having sex. So when you say watery, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't have a conversation where we can get to that. Oh, I do want to say this. We're changing things up. We're going to put, uh, we're going to add Zoom to this so I can actually have conversations with you guys so we can make some sense. And are we about to freeze up? Yeah, possibly. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. All right. So, um, Archie McKay, what about calisthenics for testosterone? I'm going to tell you right now. Let me do my confession right here. This was tight, tight, not long ago. I switched from doing, and this is the uh, one of the videos that's coming out. I switched from doing what I call half-ass bodybuilding. And that's what people who go to the gym end up doing, <laughs> which is, I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to go to the gym to look like this person, but this person needs to do 24 hours of working out a week. I'm going to do three. And I'm going to be like this. No, that's half ass bodybuilding. When you do calisthenics, especially if you use a hit timer, um, high intensity interval training, you do calisthenics with that timer. Oh my God. It, that's the reason why I've been dropping weight so quickly. Uh, it's, it's great for your testosterone. It's great for your, your flexibility. You don't get sore. It's a great thing. Check out the next video that I'm putting out about that. All right. Um, <laughs> so freak. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, mm -hmm. Mike Clemens, eight months at Zacchaeus Wilson. I have to check that out. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, Young, rich, and blessed. Diet is off whack. Yeah, you have to fix your diet. You fix your diet, a lot of things change. And this is the thing that I'm going to, uh, we're going to be talking about going into the next year. 2021 is the year of fun. <laughs> we have to turn things around. For a lot of us, we're thinking like working out. That sounds weird. Yeah, I'm going to go from a job to working out. But if you turn things into fun, my job is fun. Going home to my wife is fun. Going home to my kids is fun. When you change that in your mind, you're going to change a bunch of things. So uh, we're going to be talking about that because we have to make that change. A lot of people are going through life, especially now, stressed. And being stressed is not a, it's going to put you in a downward spiral. We have to change that up. And it's actually relatively easy. You're just going to keep saying this to you. When I go to the gym right now, my cousin works me out. These are brutal workouts, hard workouts. But I always say it's fun. He's like, oh, we're going, about, we're going to do 55 rounds of burpees. All right. Sounds fun. That's my answer. It wasn't my answer at first. <laughs> but now it's like, yeah, because I can do that. So, you know, uh, uh, we have to change the way that we think. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh-huh. Mary Ann Edwards, what about live insect protein? That that was that was a thing here in DC that was called the uh, was it the cricket club or something like that? Yeah, it was a cricket club. Didn't last long. Um, it's not necessary. Once again, that thing is live. <laughs> it is live. Uh, eating it live. That's on you. Uh, you let me know. <laughs> if that works, because that's sort of scary to me. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Mike Clemens, push up pl planks. He <laughs> said pranks. Planks, jogs, and power walks. Yeah, all that stuff work. Uh, does African fly, mind saver, does African fly really work for growth? Uh, yeah. 
uh, there's a caveat. There has to be work involved with this. So in order for you to get into the growth stage, you need to be at an eight, nine, or 10. When I say eight, nine, or 10, that's on our sexual performance scale. That means that you don't have a problem with getting morning erections, erections on demand, spontaneous erections. When you're at that stage, your penis is getting blood flow constantly. And then once it gets blood flow constantly, over a consistent period of time, it can start the growth period. We're talking about guys, most men are 20 to 30 percent smaller than what they could be because there's not enough blood flow. You're sitting down all day long, you're eating the wrong things, you're not getting enough sleep, uh, you're not, you're stressed out. All these different things cause you not to be as large as you possibly could be. So, uh, hope that answers your question there. <laughs> Zacchaeus Wilson, my job is not fun after 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. Hey, but here's the thing. That's because you think that way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's your mindset. If you want to change that with your mind, go to work saying this is fun. Your brain will, will start looking, Ooh, what's fun about this? What's, what's going on? I mean, look at kids. They have no idea of anything but fun. And it's because of their mindset. It's like as you grew up, so, oh no, you're not supposed to have fun. You're supposed to go to work and feel terrible. Yeah, you need to get that out of your mind. Have fun with it. All right. Uh, Marianne, no thanks. I'm not sure what no thanks was for, but <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Ah. All right, so great question. Patrick Young, I read that one of the ingredients in Africa Fly is your hen bean. That's not true. <laughs> uh, if so, has. Uh, have you been able to add it without the usual side effects like the headaches increase heart rate heart rate? Got you. All right. So um, African fly has your hem bay. Uh, the difference between your hem bay, your hem bean, your hem bean is actual. The chemical formula is in your hem bay. Uh, what has happened is scientists have found this chemical in your hem bay called your hem bean. They extracted it and it was like, hey, take this. That's not the way that natural medicine works. You need the whole plant, whole plant diet, whole plant medicine. So you take out that one thing. It's like, yeah, well, it's supposed to, it's going to do some things. It's going to make you feel jittery. It's going to have the heart rate pumped up. You, you're not going to feel good taking just pure your him being. So um, in Africa fly, we have the actual herb. We have the bark of the tree, your him bay. And we have uh, the seven other herbs, uh, including ginger, uh, sarsaparilla, uh, uh, things like that, that balance it out so you don't have all of those negative issues in African fly. And of course, let me go ahead and say this. I am the, uh, the men's performance coach with African fly. Uh, African fly is an all natural liquid aphrodisiac. It's been on the market for 21 years now. That's because it works. So uh, if you want to check out African Fly, to go to AfricanFly.com. It will um, help in so many different ways for both men and women. So, uh -huh. let's see. Let's see. All right. I think I'm missing some questions. I want to get to it right quick. Thank you, uh, Nikki. Uh-huh. Mike Clemens. Hold it right there. Um, mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So Mike Clemens... Um, Chubby guy went from 52 uh, to a 44 inch waist. Congratulations, sir. Uh, I know how that feels. <laughs> you could drop that weight. It's wonderful. Uh, what works is intermittent fasting and consuming more green vegetables. Absolutely right. Do I need to do Kegel exercises as well? Um, I'm not a particular fan of Kegel exercises. Uh, every time you go to the bathroom, you have to do uh, basically a Kegel. Uh, if that works for you, Continue doing that. That's that's a great thing. Uh, if things are working, every everyone's body is different. If it's working for you, keep doing it. Um, but it's not like there's so many other things that go into having a stronger erection than just that particular muscle. Uh, your body needs to be healthy in order for you to get uh, to that great level. So uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get some more questions in here. Uh, rhythmic design. Hey, I like that. 
Uh, how do you see age affecting your sex drive? Okay, so um, as you get older, uh, from the age of 21, roughly 21 to 32, just depending on where you are, your testosterone is going down roughly 1% uh, per year. Uh, if your health, your diet, everything is not as great, it's going to go down faster. So um, you can, and we've seen this multiple times. If you need to get some inspiration, hop on YouTube and look up older bodybuilders, older athletes. You have people who are into their 70s who work out who are way better than they were in their 30s. I can say this for myself. Uh, I've been working out roughly five to eight times a week for the past three months. When I started, could not do 40 seconds of burpees. Now I'm seven minutes to 10 minutes of burpees. No problem. And I will say this in terms of being able to deal with a, a, a woman, uh, she would prefer that you're in that area of 10 minutes of burpees and not 40 seconds because it's burpees. So uh, it's, it's helpful. It's help. You can be as healthy as possible with that uh, uh, at, at, at whatever age. The thing that people have gotten into their minds is that as you get older, there's going to be problems. It's only going to be problems if you allow it to be. Like I always say, um, your age, your, how old you are is the number of times around the sun. Your age is what you do with that time going around the sun. If you're doing the right things, you'll be able to have, I plan on absolutely having sex way into my hundreds. Hundreds. I mean, you have to plan for it. So, yeah, I, I'd rather do that than some of the other things that happen. Uh, Wow, we got so many questions in here. Uh, let me hit some things. Uh, CMOS. CMOS is great. If CMOS has a ton of uh, uh, nutrients in it, uh, po possibly the best level of nutrients in CMOS. So it is great. Yes, go ahead and consume that. Uh, Zacchaeus, does African fly counter affect with uh, regular vitamin supplements? Um, Mm, that not that we heard of. Uh, obviously, there are tons of supplements. When we're talking about supplements, we have to be very careful. African Fly is a liquid, t a tincture. It's a liquid product. Um, you take the herbs, you soak it in alcohol. It gets the essence of the herbs. You put it into your body. Uh, if you are using uh, supplements in, in the pill form, not the powdered capsules, but the pill form, those aren't natural we're not sure what's going on in those. Those things cost two cents to make. Uh, African fly costs because it's expensive to make. It comes from actual barks of trees and roots and things like that. All right. Um, I do want to say something that's really important. We made some changes uh, for the guys out there who uh, love African fly already, who've been using it. Two things. One, we now have subscriptions, so if you want to get it month after month after month without needing to come back and, and getting it online, uh, and we give it with a discount, you can go ahead and use the subscriptions. And also, we're now on Amazon, yay. So uh, we can ship out uh, uh, fast, it's, it's Amazon, you know, they do what they do. So, uh, you know, if you order from us directly at AfricanFly.com, wonderful. If you want to order from Amazon because you have your account there, wonderful. You're going to get the product. It's going to be a wonderful thing. All right. Uh, mm, all right. Ooh, we got a ton of questions here. Uh, what T levels are equivalent to the 8, 9, 10 scale? Zachy is great question. So um, the average right now that we're looking to get to, and this is right now. <laughs> it's changed over time, it used to be higher. But we're looking at 800 nanograms per deciliter. That's where you want to be at a 10. So if you're there, you're going to have morning erections, you're going to have erections on demand, you have this spontaneous erections. It goes down from there. So uh, we say the morning erections is the height of it because there is no stimulation going on. <laughs> it's just you woke up, your testosterone levels are the highest when you wake up. In the morning, your testosterone forms overnight. So when it comes to uh, spontaneous erections, spontaneous erections are actually sort of like delayed reactions to something that you thought earlier. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, it's like I was looking at 
homegirl over there and then my ugly teacher told me to stand up. Now I have an erection. It wasn't because my ugly teacher. It was because the whole girl over there. So uh, in erections on demand, you're thinking about it. So erections on demand about an eight. So I hope that answers that question. All right. Mm -hmm. John de, 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 uh, mm, de pair. De, de pair. John, <laughs> my man, I'm 66 and doing work with a lot of heavy lifting. I weigh 120. I still get morning wood. Woo, my man. Yes, indeed. I like that. Yes. Keep doing that. Keep doing that as long as possible. Uh, for anybody out there who uh, is uh, wants to follow John, do that. <laughs> uh, Alan Austin, veggie burger. Uh, be careful with veggie burgers. Just check. See how it feels. A veggie burger is better than uh, the meat burger. Uh, but also, once again, it is something that's new to the planet, is new to your stomach. Pay attention. Make sure it's working out for you. Uh huh. Vinit Singh. Ooh, I have never heard this question. I gotta answer this one, sir. Uh, what would be average penetration time after foreplay? Ideally, it is up to you. Yeah, ideally, it is up to you. It's a, you know, the whole thing about sex is your level of pleasure and along with her level of pleasure. So if you're at a point where it, you're enjoying yourself, you should be able to go as long as you want to. There are some things that you have to pay attention to. Some people think that, you know, you're supposed to last as long as four hours or something weird like that. <laughs> it's like, no, you're supposed to last as long as it's pleasurable to you. So, um, you know, ask her, I mean, ask yourself what works, you know, for uh, some women, it's like, you know, initially it's pleasurable. If you go for like a good 20 minutes, then it's like, OK, I didn't have enough uh, 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 vaginal juice, I guess I would say. <laughs> you didn't have enough lubrication uh, in order for that to work out well. Uh, Paul posted this six times. What did Paul post? OK. Uh, Paul, unfortunately, I can't answer that question. I have to check that out. I have to check that out. Uh, Paul asked about grade two and grade three cause ED. We'll have to do some research on that. Uh, thanks for asking that question. Uh, and it, this, is, this is the thing. Once again, guys, I'm, I don't know everything. Every time you ask me questions, I'm like, I, I got to push myself to, to get more information. I just want to be as honest and as transparent as possible, Paul. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. So next Thursday, tune in. We're going to uh, try to get, get that taken care of for you. Uh, hmm. All right. We have some interesting questions. Uh, Ty Woods, Ty Bud Woods. How about fresh salmon and now and then? All right. Okay. For me, for salmon, salmon actually hurts my knee. Salmon is painful. We have to be careful with salmon right now because salmon is valued. There's wild caught salmon and there's farmed salmon. Once again, it's dead. You're eating death. You keep eating death. Part of you is going to die. That's just the way the world works. There is no argument against this. You know, we've seen the zombie movies. What do zombies do? They eat people alive because they're dead. <laughs> this is the reverse of what we do. We eat dead things. And if you keep eating dead things, it's going to be bad. If you're eating the, uh, the farmed ones, it's way worse. Uh, but you don't want to do either one. So, all right. I hope that answers that question. So, uh, cool, cool. Alan, you're welcome. <laughs> Jay, ah, gotcha, bro. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Jay Hendrix, organic oats. Is it good? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the, the thing that I want to be careful of is that um, for reasons through advertising, we've gotten to the point where people think that, okay, what I need to do is to uh, eat this one thing. So they say, oats are great. I'm just keep eating oats every meal. Every meal is oats. It's like, no, your body needs, um, your body is designed to travel on this planet and eat 
various different things. So your microbiome, what's in your stomach, the, the bacteria, the fungi that's in your stomach can expand so you can keep on eating different variety of things without getting sick. You know, you go to different countries, they say, don't drink the water or don't eat this. It's because your body isn't prepared for it. Your body wants to be prepared for it. So uh, please go ahead, eat the organic oats. It's a wonderful thing. Just don't go overboard with it. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord, we got some questions. Mm -hmm. uh, Pierre Hamilton, how much African fly to take to get an erection? It depends on where you are on a uh, sexual performance scale, that scale of one to 10, where 10 is the highest, one is the lowest, five is things are not working well <laughs> at all. So uh, if you're at that five level, uh, we want to make sure that you move further up that scale. African fly will help you move up the scale one point, two points. But more importantly is getting the information that we have in the blogs here, <laughs> uh, the videos so that you don't have to take African fly for the rest of your life. You go to the doctor to do that. You ain't coming here. <laughs> we are not going to keep killing plants <laughs> just so you can get an erection. So, yeah, uh, I hope that answers your question there, sir. Uh, um, hmm. er, 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 Valdo Tin Bomb. Okay. How can I get stronger erections? Um, easier system. It's energy, sleep, exercise, intermittent fasting, and your soul. So that's what we talk about on this channel. Check out the other videos where we talk about that. But you need to make sure that you get this information. Uh, so... Once again, quick commercial because we're running out of time. <laughs> we're running out of time. Woo, I love these questions, guys. Thank you so very much. I hope you're all getting more information out of this. I do want to remind you, we do have the subscription online. So if you want to get African Fly on the regular, uh, you don't have to worry about keeping coming back and ordering. And also with Amazon, uh, you can just order off of Amazon and uh, use your account. You can get there quickly. We are coming out with a book. Coming out with a book. Everything that I say, we try to condense it into a book less than 100 pages. It is called Go Hard. <laughs> peak peak uh, uh, sexual performance for men. I mean, that's, that's what we're trying to get to. So it's really important that you, know, you get this information. The book is coming out. We want to get you, uh, make sure you get Everything that you need out of the book is something that you can put on your your, your bedside and just read it. It's like, oh, hold on, baby. Let me check. I mean, let me double check. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah, make sure to look out for that. Uh, mm-hmm. So freak. Hey, I appreciate that, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, there's a question about walnuts to eat daily. Uh, walnuts are great. Most nuts are, are great. No problem. You do want to be careful in terms of uh, consuming too much if you have weight issues. Uh huh. Hold up. It says Amazon. It says African Fly currently unavailable. We will check that out. Uh, my staff just looked at me funny because <laughs> that is not supposed to happen. So we will get that. Uh huh. Uh, thank you, Sofric. Appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. We love it. We love it. Um, mm -hmm. I just want. I gotta answer this. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna hop off. Uh, John. Point of interest. Our ancestors are wild game. Today we eat farmed animals. Different as day and night. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, and, and the thing to remember is the reason why we keep saying that. You know, we go keep going through this thing of like, you know, our ancestors were uh, hunter gatherers. That's not true. That's a bullshit. That doesn't make any sense. You have something that grows out of the ground that doesn't move that you can eat. As compared to, I have to go chase something that's going to run away from me that other things want to eat also. And then I have to kill it, carry it back. Skin it, gut it, we have to gut it first. Gut it, skin it, do a whole bunch of work to get to the meat. It takes a lot. We, we have been blessed with restaurants and 
factory farming in other states, North Carolina. <laughs> and, and, you know, we, we think this is normal. It's not. It's not. So you have to be very careful with that thought process of like, yeah, eating this amount of meat is normal. It's nowhere near normal. This has never happened. Back in the day, it was called uh, diseases of the rich. Diabetes, hypertension, heart disease were diseases of the rich. These are now diseases of 12 year olds. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be very careful because when you're eating plant based food, it just makes you feel good. It, things get better. So. All right, guys, I appreciate you coming on. We're going to be here next week, Thursday. I uh, want to say sorry for we, we, or scheduling issue. Uh, we have, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Thursday, December 24th, Christmas Eve, and then uh, December 30th, uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> so uh, we won't be uh, airing them. I may change it. I may change it. I, I, you know, it just depends. Just depends. But uh, I want to thank you for being on right now, getting all this information in. Um, uh huh. Uh, yeah, rhythmic design. How do you see uh, age affecting your sex drive? It can, but you can change that. Change up the way you're living. You have habits that have led to this process of going down. You can change those habits and get back up. All right. Cool. Uh, Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Patrick Young. Go ahead. Change that dot. <laughs> there we go. So, hey, guys. Hey, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for attending. Um, look out for the next videos. Check out AfricanFly.com. Love you. This is what we do every Thursday evening. We want to make sure you get the information you need. This is Uncle B saying, get your game up. Go hard. Peace out.